Hi everybody, thank you for joining me. My name is Eternity Farrell. Today we're gonna to be doing a 30 minute full body strength training workout. Um, I'm going to be using five pound dumbbells and eight pound dumbbells. So go ahead and grab whatever weight feels comfortable for you. Challenging but sustainable. We're gonna start our workout standing and finish down on the mat. Again, it's full body. It's gonna be broken down into supersets. So two exercises back to back. We're gonna progress them as we go along. All right, you guys. That's the breakdown. Let's go ahead and get started with our warm up. To start us off, we're gonna do some head rolls. We're gonna go five to the right, five to the left. Let's do it. So just opening up that range of movement, range of motion, and get ready for our bodies to work. Okay, number five, other way. Let's do this. Deep inhale, exhale as you work through this. Three, four, Last one and five. Keeping that opening going, we're gonna go ahead and hit some shoulder circles. So four, five, reverse five, let's go. One, nice. Two, three big wide circles, full range of motion, four and five, let's go reverse. Nice, one, two, three, four and five, good. We're gonna hit some side lunges with a cross body crunch, just like that. We got 10 on the right side, 10 on the left. Three, two, one, let's go guys. Hit that, crunch it, nice. Two, three. And as you're doing this, think about stretching through those hamstrings, stretching through your hip flexors. Tight, tight core as always. Shoulders down and back for four, three, two, and one. All right, same thing, other side. Let's do it. Down and crunch. Good. I like to move my arms with me, kind of pump myself around, just like that. Four, nice. Five. Seven. Nice. Eight. Nine. And 10. Now we're gonna go into a 45 second swoop, swoop, up, up. So we're working through our arms and our core while the cardio stays elevated in three, two, one. Let's hit it. Good. And just breathe through it. I want you getting nice and wide. So note my feet are stepping out as I'm swooping my arm. So arm leg, arm leg, one to one. 27 seconds. Let's do it. Nice work, about 15 seconds left. So again, tight core, wide, big movements. Really get into it. Get that heart rate up, because we're gonna be loading and getting into our strength portion next. Three, two, one, done. Great job, you guys. Warm up is now complete. We're gonna go into our first of our supersets. So we're gonna go ahead, I'm gonna use my eight pound dumbbells. Go ahead and grab whatever weight feels comfortable for you, but we're starting with a deadlift. All right, so we're gonna hit a deadlift. Just to recap that, shoulders on and back, tight core. You're gonna push that weight back into your heels, stretching to those hamstrings. Up and squeeze, we have 12. And three, two, one, let's do it. And then exhale, lift and squeeze. Beautiful, two. And as you're doing this, tight core, flat back. There should be no activation in that low back. We're keeping it all in that core. Good, four, we have eight. Good, seven, nice. Six, halfway. Five, four, three, two, and one. Nice work, you guys. Next up, we're gonna hit a lateral shoulder raise. So, starting our elbows slightly bent, you're gonna come straight up to 90, and then right back down. We're gonna go for 12. In three, two, one, let's go. Up, and release. Up, and release. Careful of the rocking here. My core is nice and stable, so all the work is focused in those shoulders. Nice work. Six, 
halfway. Eight, nine, ten, last two, and twelve. Great job. All right, take a moment, shake it out, get a sip of water, towel down. We're going back to the first exercise, which was our deadlift, but we're gonna progress it this time. We're gonna add a deadlift with a side lunge. So it's a deadlift, side lunge, one to one. We're gonna go for a total of 12 deadlifts and 12 reverse, or sorry, side lunge. And three, two, one, let's hit it. So you're deadlifting, you're bringing it up, and you're hitting that side lunge, and you're right back to center. Hitting that deadlift, bring it up, other side. Good, and you're breathing through this whole time. Nice. Three. Good. Four. Very nice. Five. And you should be feeling this through your hamstrings, through your glutes, your core, and you're through your last month too because the lads are holding the weights for you. Seven, over halfway. Eight, nine, three more. Good, last two. Beautiful, last one. And go ahead and recover, shake it out, shake it out. We're gonna go back to those uh, lateral raises but we're gonna progress it and add a bicep curl to it. So it's a lateral raise to a bicep curl, one to one, for a total of 10. And three, two, one, let's go. So we're up and hit that curl. One, full arms, two, tight core, zero rocking, three, nice. And I know these are tough. Lateral raises tend to be very challenging. Biceps too. So, Really tighten that core, stay stable, focus that work, and you got this. Good. Six. Give me four. Three. Nice. Two. Last one. And curl. Nice, go ahead, put the weights down for a moment, shake it out, get ready. We're gonna go back to our deadlift one more time. And instead of hitting that side lunge, we're gonna hit a deadlift, side lunge, shift. So it's gonna look like this, you're deadlifting. You're hitting a side lunge, you're shifting it over, you're stepping it back, okay? We're gonna do that for the set of 10. And three, two, one, here we go. So hit that deadlift, as you bring it up, step it out, and you're shifting back over, and you're gonna step it in. So your right foot just stepped out, hit that deadlift. Now left foot, step it out, Good, shift it, bring it back up, as two. Hit that deadlift, lateral lunge, shift it, bring it back up for three. All right, let's wrap it out. Yes. Four. Keep some space in those feet as you hit the deadlift. Five, halfway. Shift and shift. Six. Seven. Yes. Eight, two more. Nine, last one. And down, shift it and 10. Whew. All right, you guys, for this last one, I'm gonna grab my five pound dumbbells. I encourage you to use whatever weight feels comfortable, but we are gonna go back to our lateral raises. This time we're gonna go up, you're gonna lower one, bring it back up, lower the other, bring it back up, and then both are gonna come down, and that's gonna be one. We're gonna go for a set of eight. So it's a pretty big movement, so choose a weight that's um, good for you. All right, you guys, here we go in three, two, one. Let's hit it, so bring it up. One down, back it up. Other side, back up and both come down. That's one. <sighs> yes, nice. So your shoulders are really gonna feel this because it's a lot of time under tension, a lot of holding. So really focus on that form and you got this. 
Yes, nice, breathe. That's four, we're halfway. Nice. Five, let's go with three more. Six, last two. I know I'm burning, last one you guys. Whew. Other side, and whew, release it. All right, you guys, great job. That was the end of circuit number, our superset number one. We're gonna go back now into some forward lunging to kick off superset number two. I'm gonna grab my eight pound dumbbells for this one, so grab whatever weight's comfortable for you. Our first movement, what we're gonna do is a forward lunge. We're gonna go 10 on the right, 10 on the left. I'm gonna bring my weights up onto my shoulders. So go ahead and meet me there. We're gonna go forward in three, two, one, right side first. So you're down, up. Think 90, 90, and those feet, as you come down, you're pressing up through that heel, back to standing. Four, good. Five. Six, beautiful. Seven. Eight. Nine, last one. And 10, good. Shake it out. Bring those weights back onto your shoulders. We're gonna go onto the left side now for a set of 10 and three, two, one, and go. And I know that having the weights on your shoulders right now probably making your shoulders burn, especially with that shoulder complex we just did. So embrace it. <sighs> nice work, that's four. Five, keeping the core tight. Six, beautiful. Seven, let's go three more. Eight. Nine, last one, and 10. Great job, okay. We're gonna go ahead and put these weights down. We're gonna go into a 30 second hit. What we're gonna do is we're gonna go for a regular bodyweight squat into a jump squat for 30 seconds. So, go ahead and stand nice and tall. We're gonna get going here in three, two, one, let's go. So it's a squat, up, down, jump squat. Yes. Good, and so this one is really paced, self-paced. There's no rep range I'm asking you to hit. It's whatever feels comfortable for you. <sighs> nice job. 15 seconds. <sighs> nice, sit back into that squat, jump and land into it. We got 10 seconds, you got this, don't stop now. <sighs> Five, four, Three, two, last one, and rest. All right, you guys, go ahead, take a quick recovery, get a sip of water, towel off. We're gonna go back to our lunge series. This time, we're gonna add a reverse lunge to it. So it's forward, back into reverse. They're called pendulum um, lunges. I'm gonna grab our eight pounds for this. Because we're going um, two movements in one, we're gonna reduce our reps to eight. So in reality, it's 16, but it's eight reps. All right, you guys, so forward to reverse, right side and three, two, and let's go. Good, forward and reverse, that's one. Good, that's two. This circuit is a little bit more leg heavy. However, our next circuit is gonna be down the mat for upper body and core. So we're gonna fill that upper body again in our next superset. Nice. Halfway, four more. Four. Nice. Three. Two. I know it burns, you got this. Last one. And great job, shake it out. Grab that left side in three, two, one. Here we go. Let's hit that forward centered, reverse, center. So again, 90-90, center, 90-90, center, that's two. Make sure to breathe. Three, keeping our core very tight and engaged, that's our stability. Four, we're halfway. Nice, that's five. Six, two more. 
Sad then last one. Eight and great job. Go ahead and put these down. We're gonna go back to our cardio hit. This time instead of doing a jump squat, we're gonna do a jump lunge. So you're gonna step back, jump center, other side, jump center, back. 30 seconds on the clock and five, four, three, two, and let's go. So you're down, center, back, center, back. Beautiful. Believe it or not, 10 down, 20 left. Nice, we are halfway. You got this. Last 10. Three, two, and one. Go ahead and recover. Take a moment, let our heart rate come down ever so slightly. Get some water, towel, whatever you need. We're gonna go back to our lunges. We're gonna go multi-directional lunges now. So, forward, side, reverse. We're gonna go six on the right, six on the left. Let's go ahead and grab our weights. For this time around, I'm just gonna only use my one eight, but challenge yourself to whatever you would like to do today. Right side in three, two, one. We have six. Let's do this. So we're forward. Hitting that side. And then we're reversing. That's one. Good job. Side. And reverse. Two. Halfway. Three more. Big movement, you guys. Controlled. Full body work. Two left. Nice. That's five, one more. Very good. Side and reverse. Go ahead, mini center. Shake it out. Deep breath, release it. We got six on the left. In three, two, one. Let's do this. So we're front, we got side, and then reverse. Beautiful work, you guys, one. Nice. And two. Good. Hit that side. And three, halfway. Forward. Good. Side and reverse. Four, got two more. Breathe through it. Tight core. You got this, then we're hitting the mat after this. Last one. Yes. Good. And done. Go ahead and put your weight down. We have one more cardio hit. You're gonna go into a side lunge, shift, shift, shift for 30 seconds. So wide stance. We have our side lunge shift in three, two, one, and let's go. Good, side to side, right here. Chest up, shoulders back, tight core. We're shifting and shifting. Halfway. You got it, you guys. Keep it up. 10 seconds. Five, four, three, two, and one. Very good. Okay, so the time has come that we're gonna go down to our mat, okay? So go ahead and begin to your mat and meet me there. All right, you guys, so we made it down to our mats for our last super set. We're gonna do a chest movement, then we're gonna do a rowing plank movement. So we're gonna start with our chest press. Go ahead and grab your dumbbells. I'm grabbing my eights and meet me on the back. All right, you guys, so think 45 degrees and a chest press. Exhale, we're gonna come to center for a set of 12. And three, two, one, let's do it. Good, that's one. Nice, two. And I want you to think about pulling those shoulders down away from your ears. So that way you're getting a full controlled chest press. Four, nice you guys. Five. Exhale as you press, six, seven, eight, very good. Nine, 10, last two, 11 and 
12. Beautiful. From here, we're gonna go ahead and flip it around. We are just gonna hit a standard plank for 30 seconds as our next movement. So either on the forearms or on your hands, I'm gonna go on my hands. We have 30 seconds in three, two, one. Hit that plank, just like here. Nice job, you guys. So as you hit that plank, I don't wanna see your hips here. Don't wanna see your hips dip. Nice, straight, straight back. Tight core, we're flexing our glutes, we're flexing our core. We're pulling our shoulders down away from our neck and we're just holding it. Nice work, you guys. All right, we have eight seconds left. Hang in there. Five, four, three, two, and done. Great job. Okay, shake it out. We're gonna go back to our chest movement. This time we're gonna go for chest fly. So flip it back around, grab your dumbbells, meet me on the back. And this time we're gonna start with our dumbbells up. We're going to open them up and then press back to center. We're gonna go for a set of 12, okay? So three, two, one, here we go. So control it open and exhale, pull back center, that's one. Two, very good. Control, three, let gravity help pull you down and then resist it and come back center. Four, beautiful, five, it out seven we have five more wide and center eight nine last three two good last one and done great job all right everyone nice work we're gonna come back around into our plank position this time around we're gonna use our dumbbells we're gonna go for 30 seconds of a plank with an alternating row Okay, so no rep range. We're just gonna go for 30 seconds, whatever feels comfortable for you, rep-wise, in that 30 seconds. Okay, go ahead and meet me in that plank in three, two, one, here we go. So you're gonna pull it and squeeze. I'm using my eight pound dumbbells for this one, you guys, but you can use whatever feels comfortable for you. And if planking on your dumbbells are too much, you can absolutely come onto the hands and rep it out from there. We have 12 seconds. Good, just keep it going. Good, five, four, give me a couple more reps. Last one, and time. Great job. All right, we're going back to our chest for one more exercise. We're gonna do a narrow press into a fly, back in, back down. So it's a chest and a fly combined. So grab your dumbbells, go ahead and bring it down to the mat. Engage that core, pressing up and coming out for 12 in three, two, one, here we go. So narrow press, open, close, release. That's one, nice. Close and two. Beautiful. I hope you're enjoying this workout so far, wherever you are, whatever time it is. Thank you for joining me and making this time all about you. Nice work, you guys. Here's. Four, we got eight more. Five, nice. Six, halfway. Seven. I know this one's a compound movement, so you're getting an extra good burn on this one. Last four. Good. Three. That's two. And one and release it. Very nice. All right, so we've made it to our last exercise before we get to our stretch and cool down. So let's make a count, you guys. We're gonna go back into our plank with a row and we're gonna open it up this time. So you're gonna give me a row, side plank, open it up, back down, okay? So let me just show you one rep. It's gonna be here and back down. All right, you guys, we're gonna go for 45 seconds on this last one because it is a little bit more of a cumbersome move. 45 seconds, alternating right and left. Three, two, one. It's on, you guys, let's do it. So reach it up, long. There you go. Other side. Reach it up and bring it down. Beautiful. Good. Side plank, reach it up. Good, nice. 
30 seconds. Beautiful. Controlled. Pushing yourself away from the ground. Very nice. We have 10 seconds. Go ahead and give me two more reps. Good. One more. And release it. And that is time. All right. Great job, you guys. Made it to the end. So from here, let's go ahead and go into a nice wide V-sit. As wide as you can control it. From here, we're gonna take our hand, our right hand, and we're gonna reach it overhead and towards our right, or sorry, our left hand, overhead toward our right foot. So as you do this, you're gonna feel those hip flexors stretching. Try to get nice and deep into it. Stretch out that um, lat and other side. Nice deep breath through here, feeling that full range of movement. Good. From here, I'm going to have to bring your feet together. We're going to cross over our right foot to our left knee, pull it in, get a nice deep uh, figure four stretch. Hope you guys enjoyed that workout. I know you guys were working super hard. That was pretty challenging. So if you made it to the end, congratulations, you kicked butt. Nice job. All right, you guys. Go ahead and switch that figure four. That left foot's going on that right knee. Go ahead and pull it in. And just kind of see it into it. Let it really stretch. One of my favorite ones. I love this one. Very good. All right, go ahead and release that. Come onto your mat. Go ahead and bring that right, sorry, left foot up and in. We're just gonna lean into it. Stretch those hips right here. A couple deep breaths. From here, you're gonna shift it back, butt to heel. Now you're gonna reach forward and get that hamstring. Good, deep stretch right here. Nice, enjoy it. Okay, other side, same thing. So that right foot's gonna come up, but you're gonna lean into it. Sometimes I like to use my elbow to kind of open up that hip by pressing in that knee and opening up a little bit deeper. Deep breath right here, nice job. So on the next exhale, Push those hips back to your heels, hamstring stretch. And shift it, good. Now reach that toe and lean into it. Deep breath. Very good. So from here, let's go ahead and pull that right arm across the chest. Shoulder down away from the ear. Deep breath right here. Very good, other side. Across. Now, back behind, dropping that shoulder. Hand down the back, deep breath right here. Good, same thing, other side. Breathe through it. So now let's gonna pull a little bit on that neck, just get a nice long upper trap neck stretch. Other side, ever so slightly, stretching that upper trap into the neck. Give me a few shoulder circles, each direction. Other way as well, and that is it. Thank you guys so much for joining me on today's 30 minute strength workout. Look forward to seeing you next time. Have a great day.